Hi there and welcome back to another episode of the 32-bit rant and today I'm bringing out something that I, I had a wee look at the last time I was making a video about, no wait, when did I make it? It was a while ago to say the least and it's about what's in this box here. Ignore the spelling mistakes, I did not do this. Inside this box is a DataWise CD-ROM drive. I will include a thing up there, up there, wherever it goes. And I was, it's a parallel port CD-ROM drive and I bought it for one laptop in particular, which was the subject of my last video. So that will be the Toshiba T2130 CT laptop. A laptop from 1996, which is about the size of a postage stamp, but weighs about the same as a sports utility vehicle. So anyway, let's get busy with making the review. It's important to note that there is a lot of preparation required to put all this together. First of all, you need a laptop. Any bog standard 90s laptop should do it. I'll use my Toshiba. Next, you'll need your CD drive, which is here and the appropriate cabling. Please note that the laptop is already plugged into the extension of Doom over there. Next you supply your parallel port cable to the correct port and then tighten it up. That one's all right there as well. Once everything is wired up it should look a little bit like this. Well before I get everything set up you should note that this CD drive here is now a DVD drive because the original uh, Panasonic drive, or whoever owns Panasonic, I can't remember the name, but it's those that make it. That drive is now no longer functioning. So what we'll do now is we'll turn the Toshiba on and it'll start making a series of bleeps and whatnot while it starts. It's also important to note that I've already installed the drivers for this, so I'll leave that process out. If any of you want to see some DOS driver installs for whatever reason, uh, then drop me a comment and I will put something together. Obviously we need a disc, so I went and got this one, which is Macromedia's Flash, before Adobe bought it, keep in mind. And in a second, we'll put it in the drive. Now, when we go to my computer, please note that this is very hard for me to actually see because I'm looking at it through the phone as well. Click on drive and there it is. Then we can set up Macromedia Flash whenever this can load. Please note as well that parallel port CD drives are not known to be quick because parallel is just horribly slow. I'm going to uh, complete. Makes it so much easier. And then we wait for quite a while. So while we wait, I think it's best to mention the origins. Before I received this laptop, I knew I was going to get it, and I'm thinking there is no way I can get information onto this laptop. So I hopped onto eBay before I got the laptop, remember, and looked for parallel port CD drives coming across this as the only listing in the UK. Bought it for £19. So, yeah, I'll probably put this into like a musical interlude or something, something that's not properly protected. I'll end that with a uh, trying to download a copy of that Lift music, and it's been. I got a copyright strike in the last video, so I just took the video down. Um, so, yeah, this will take a while.
I really should have invested in something like a small tripod to hold my phone. This is terrible, if I'm honest. If you look to the left hand side of the laptop, you will see there is a slit in the rubber pad. If you look to the other side, you'll see there's not one there at all. But you will find that there is a very dirty looking tail sticker. So, yeah, I suppose this is me just trying to kill time while this installs. I'm actually find that when you look down a bit, there's throughout the keyboard, there's a little mesh in the back. That there is the speaker. Or the beeper, it doesn't do too much. And then your, your LEDs over there, you'll see the little hard drive one going off of rocker. But let me adjust this a bit because it's looking a bit hard to see. There you go. Looks better now on camera, it does look a bit. Yeah. Colours are a bit too dark. While I'm also waiting, I should probably point out what I don't like about this, key this keyboard, and it's that bit there. It really enters it. Throws me off a lot because. It's just, it's like that in a lot of small laptop keyboards. However, it could be, it could be uh, better, but it's not. Anyway, let's see what percentage we're at. Oh, that's an improvement. They really could have developed part of it a bit better in the later times. And still made it backwards compatible. They could have done something good with it. No, we just have to spend five hours waiting. And before MD dives into the comments saying, have you got it in the right mode? I do have it in the right mode. It's on a uh, bi-directional, which is meant to be the quickest. And it's not very quick at all. But the disk drive's still doing something, because when we look over there, the lights are still flashing occasionally. Um. That's a Hitachi DVD-ROM drive that's there. It's from about 1998, the same as the drive that was in there. So, it's a little bit better. Like, the other drive, I think, was only double speed. This is, like, six times or something like that. Oh, we're nearly there, but not really, because this is taking forever. I'll probably just cut it at some point, like now, because you're going to be sitting here for about ten minutes. Seven percent. We're moving into the smaller files. It just keeps going up slowly but surely. It's, it's actually going a bit quicker now. I'll come back in a minute. I have returned at ninety nine percent, and it's it's getting there certainly. Um, um, come on. Yes, yes, it's finished. Thank goodness. It's now hit enter. And it closes. And now we don't really have a need for the disk drive anymore. But let's zoom physically. Pull the phone back a bit. And then go into Macromedia Flash. Which is loading. I don't think it requires a CD drive, but you never know. I know the background does that. I don't think it's to do with uh, changing colour settings and everything. Just ignore it. Um, I'm aware of it's uh, it's happening. Ah, uh, I don't have a serial number. So you get the idea, it installs well enough. I'm sure I can grab a serial number from places. Uh, so, yeah, it's a CD drive, it works. I'll be honest, I probably don't look too happy from this angle. <laughs> um, however, I would like to say... Thank you for watching this video. I know it's a bit long, it's a bit drawn out because all we basically done was test out a CD drive to see how well it worked and install a program. I'm sure I can get more use out of this CD drive in the future. And the same can be said for the PCMCIA slots if I can get those to work on the laptop as I'd like to get one of those sound cards for a decent enough price that isn't going to break the bank. So, once again, 
feel free to like and subscribe and do whatever else takes your fancy comment as well i like that as well i like seeing comments um so thank you for watching and good night